we're gonna try and organize these bookshelves. I'm about to lose the will to live. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For today's video I'm going to be doing my bookshelf organisation for 2021 and I am so so excited for this. It has been a long time coming. If you've been following me for a while you will know that I do have one Billy bookcase at the moment. I actually have an organisation video from last year I think where I bought my first Billy bookcase, built it, organised it, all of that jazz. So I'll of course like that down below if you would like to see that. But I have finally, finally got myself a second Billy bookcase. I have needed one for a while now. There are books everywhere. I need another belly bookcase but the Ikea closest to me just seems to sell out of them so fast and then it doesn't get them in again for ages. So yeah I have been trying to get one for a long time but finally I have a second belly bookcase. So the plan for today's video is just to take you through this little journey of me organising my bookshelves. We're going to build the second belly bookcase. We are going to organise both of the bookshelves and then of course I'll give you a little tour at the end as well. So Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the current sitch. I have a nice bookcase and then I have a ton of books. And this is not all of the books, there are other books dotted around the house that need to be brought in here as well. I've been trying to keep it as neat as possible, just putting them in these little piles because obviously this is the family living room so I feel kind of bad about how messy it is but you know, needs must. And here we have my new Billy just ready to be built and ready to become a home for these books. So yeah, as you can see with my previous bookcase, I did actually kind of try to do like a rainbow bookcase, but that was a very bad idea. That very quickly became obvious. <laughs> it is just too difficult to maintain. Whenever you get new books, you'd have to move everything to try and accommodate the new one. So yeah, we will not be doing that again. We'll probably be doing it by genre today. So yeah, I am so excited. I'm so excited for these lovely ones to have a home. So I think first of all, what we'll do is we will just take all of the books off of this billy and move all the ones on the floor out of the way. And then I've got more room to build this one and then sort of organize how they're gonna sit. So yeah, let's time lapse you. workspace is cleared we are good to go and build the bookshelves over here we have somewhat organized chaos in the form of all of my books not gonna lie i don't think i actually realized how many books i own there's quite a lot there and there's some over there as well just waiting for me so i think what we'll do now is we will go ahead and build billy number two literally so excited I've been wanting this little corner like this for so long and I can't believe I've actually got it. I actually feel so grateful and privileged today and I'm just obsessed. So now comes the hard part. We're gonna try and organize these bookshelves and this is what I am most worried about because I feel like 
I'm not going to be happy no matter what I do. As I said, I am going to try and do it by genre because I feel like that is going to be the best way to do it. And then I can like group authors together so I can see how many of their books I have in my collection, what ones I need, what ones I haven't read. I just think that's going to be better. I'm going to like it so much more. It's going to be more organised. So yeah. We're going to organise by genre, group series together, group authors together, all that good stuff and try to make it look cute at the same time. So <sighs> I think what I'll do first of all is I'll just sort of like throw some books on the shelves so I kind of know what shelves going to be what. So I'll just chuck them on first of all and then make them look pretty afterwards. gonna be fine it's gonna be fine i think i own a lot more contemporaries than i realized so that's gonna have to change how i was gonna do this basically i because all i read at the moment most of what i read at the moment is thrillers i felt like i was gonna have a lot more thrillers than i do so i feel like the majority of my bookshelves are now gonna be taken up with contemporary books because well contemporary and fantasy because to be fair for a long time that is what i read and then i got into thrillers and now there's quite a few thrillers but not as many as i had thought this is the current situation I've kind of tried to put books sort of like in the area by genre so like right now up here I've got all my classics because I want them to be like easy to see but then I've also got all my fantasy series I've tried to keep those together and some more over here and then these are all like fantasy standalones or fantasy that are in a series that I only own one of. Then I've got my thrillers along here because I wanted them to be in the middle because they're like my favourite at the moment and then down here is mostly well here I've got graphic novels and manga and things like that but then I've also put my Alice Ospins in here as well because I want them to be with Heartstopper. I've got all my middle grades here. This one is kind of like a horror place at the moment so I've got like Death Note in there and I've also got Tomy and Fangs in there even though they can kind of go with the graphic novels. I kind of want them in this little horror -y sort of area. And then I've got all of my contemporaries. I've tried to group all of my LGBT ones together because I thought that'd be quite good to see how many of those I have. More contemporaries around here and more contemporaries down here. <laughs> And then this shelf is just basically a, uh, I don't know what to do with you, you're kind of contemporary or you're historical fiction or you're a retelling or I just don't know where you go. That's what this is at the moment. Oh, and I've also got like four books down here that just I don't even know what to do with at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to try, try and start organising these and hopefully it'll all start to come together. <laughs> progress i really like my cloth bound classics together here and i feel like this one needs to face out because it's just so pretty but we'll see how that goes because i don't know if i'm gonna have room i might have to change that i'm trying to change things up like put the vampire academy books like all this way and then i've just got all of my series going around the corner like this these shelves are still <laughs> very much a work in progress but i like how this is looking with like my, my um, alice osmonds and then my graphic novels and manga as well. My contemporaries so far, I've kind of done them a little bit rainbowish, but I'm struggling at the bottom here. Like this bottom shelf is the bane of my life at the moment, but I've also tried to group like my 
obviously like I said my LGBT books together and then all of my like contemporaries either that are in a series or by the same author I've tried to put those together so yeah we're making some progress obviously there's still a lot to be done but it's starting to look kind of cute I hope <laughs> I'm gonna continue just now I'm starting to lose the light which is annoying me but yeah I'm gonna try and tackle the horror and thrillers now I think and see how that spacing is looking <laughs> So surprisingly, that is all my thrillers. I know, right? That's ridiculous. We need to get some more thrillers up in here. But we're kind of getting there. It's just these ones are kind of stressing me out. But maybe, so this one right now is like a horror shelf. But I feel like this is going to have to be used for something as well. I don't know what. And then we've also got space here where my like graphic novels and mangas and middle grades are together so I'm not sure what else to put in there. Maybe like some YA series, maybe I should move something up there. I don't know. Let's see if we could tackle the horror shelf and then decide what to do next. Okay, we kind of have a horror shelf. There's space here for something else, which I'm not sure what I will put in there yet. We will work that out. But at the moment, this actually looks quite cute. I love how everything is like black, red, and white. And then I wanted to face one of them forward. I thought about Tommy, I thought about Fangs. I do love the cover from My Best Friend's Exorcism, and I feel like it does look kind of cute facing out like that. So we're gonna keep it that way just now. I literally have no idea what to tackle next. We are getting there, like it is looking okay and I'm actually feeling like I'm gonna have more space than I thought I did which really just means I get to buy more books but yeah maybe I'll get to face more things outwards, I didn't think I was gonna get to do that so that's quite exciting. I know for sure that I really really want the Night Circus to face outwards but I just don't know where. I kind of wanted to like pop it up on this top shelf but then I've already got Black Beauty facing outwards up there so maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's have a little think, shall we? Okay, I'm having a moment because I've realised obviously Evelyn needs to go with my LGBT books but obviously she also needs to be facing out because she's iconic and if she's facing out there, she's right beside this one facing out here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is swap this shelf and this shelf and then underneath this it'll be all blocked and then over here we'll have one facing out and then we're just going to have to deal with maybe my... Brown sister books aren't gonna have to sit like that. Maybe they're gonna have to get turned around so they're not like interfering with this. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I feel like this is kind of working because obviously this is like dark and gloomy and then this is kind of bright and uniform underneath. And then here, obviously, we've got these sort of like contemporaries grouped together and my little like LGBT area here. Obviously, there's still some space at the side, but we'll work on that soon. Okay, so I just stood back and looked at it and I realised I do actually really like how these shelves here are starting to look. And I'll just pan you up so you can see there as well so like these three shelves I feel like they're looking good now we just need to make sure we can work on the rest honestly I'm about to lose the will to live okay guys I think I'm done I think they're all organized I'm actually really happy like there are some parts that are not 
quite right and I'll probably have to tweak as I go. Also my thriller shelf is just far too bare so we're gonna have to go get ourselves to a charity shop and buy more thriller books so we can pop them on that shelf. But for the most part I think they look super cute. I'm actually really happy with how they look. Let's just give you a little tour of what I ended up doing. Okay so these are my shelves looking super cute so I'll just go through what my sort of like rationale was for each shelf so obviously here we have my cloth bound classics which I do intend to fill a whole shelf with at some point we then just have like a mixture of hardbacks because I don't really buy hardbacks anymore um so they've just sort of like been put together regardless of genre going around here we have fantasies either that are standalones or I only have one in the series. Plus I've put like some dystopian books in there as well because I just wasn't really sure what to do with them. And of course Battle Royale had to be facing forwards. And then if we go down a shelf, these are all basically fantasy series that I own. <laughs> Most of which I have not read. So we'll probably have to do something about that. Here we have some more fantasy series. Obviously I put all of my Lainey Taylor books together. All of my V.E. Schwab books together apart from obviously Addie LaRue up here. We have the Poppy War books. I am still needing the third book obviously. My Vampire Academy books and then both of the From Blood and Ash books that I have. Again I need more of those. Third again we have some thrillers. So I've got a couple of thriller series here. I've got the Born books and the Good Girl Oh wait, they're the wrong way around. Let me switch that. Okay, that's better. So here we have the Good Girl's Guide to Murder books, then just all sorts of thrillers. I put my Lisa Jewels together. I put this one out just because it looks creepy. Then we've got my Riley Sager books and some other thrillers. And then obviously this isn't a thriller, but I didn't really know what to do with it. And then we've got space for me to pop more thrillers in. And then if we go down here, this is supposed to be a horror shelf and for the most part it is but there are some oddballs in there. This part here is like my favourite. I think it looks so nice. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to add more horror books to this shelf. Here is where it got a bit... <laughs> A bit hairy so obviously like I said I put my mangas graphic novels together and all my Alice Ospins and then my middle grades but I didn't really have anything else to put on this shelf so for the moment Olaf and Elsa are just chilling in the middle there but obviously I'm gonna try and get some more books to fill up this shelf and then at the bottom here we have some contemporary series contemporaries that I have like multiple of the same author all of my LGBT books together and then more contemporaries sort of rainbowish round here I wasn't really sure how else to arrange them and then finally on the bottom it's basically just everything that I didn't really know what to do with but no one will see these shelves so it's fine. Okay so that is it for this bookshelf organisation video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I definitely did. I really like how everything turned out and I'm so happy to finally have two Billy bookcases to store all my books on. So yeah! As always, if you did enjoy this video, then do please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more bookish content from me. Comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings. I do reply to every single comment. I love you all and I will see you in my next one.